Yeah, let's take a live look inside Golden One Center as the countdown continues. The team's getting prepared for the big game tonight between the Kings and the Warriors. It is just minutes away. But of course, it has been years since the Kings first captured the hearts of fans all across Northern California. ABC 10's Walt Gray takes you back to 1985 when the team played not in downtown, but in Natomas. Take a look. We're in Natomas at the site where it all began for the Sacramento Kings in 1985. This temporary structure was built for the team in less than a year. The seating was only 10,000. It was known as Arco Arena No. 1. The Kings played here for three years. It's still here and now the home for the State Department of Consumer Affairs. And look, the parking signs are still up for the team's fans. Let's roll the time machine. The Kings final practice inside Arco Arena One before they began their first season. Big names back then, Reggie Theus, Joe Klein and Tank Thompson. The man behind the Kings moving here from Kansas City, team owner Greg Lukenbill, who had big plans to quickly build a bigger arena and everybody was mostly behind that. I've seen the Kings in action and I like them and I think uh, they're instrumental to Sacramento. I think they will really help Sacramento grow more. I think it's important to the city's image, but I've lived here all my life and Sacramento's never supported sports. If they don't do so well, it might be a burden. We think that Sacramento is a great community uh, and we think that, uh, we think that uh, the temporary facility suits our needs as a temporary facility. Whatever the future held for the Kings in building a bigger arena wasn't clear during the early days of the team here. Owner Lukenbill felt he was getting a political runaround. If the promises that were made to me were kept, we wouldn't be sitting in a temporary arena right now. How confident are you about January? I don't know. I have no level of confidence. I'll tell you one thing that's for sure about politics. It's never done till it's done. Well, it was done and built in 1988 and was the King's home until the Golden One Center opened in 2016. But the early rollicking days of the Sacramento Kings in their first building will never be forgotten by those old enough to remember 38 years ago. And my friends, that takes us to right now, about 45 minutes before tip off. And the fans who are still piling into what probably is going to be a record crowd here at the Golden One Center. There is plenty of sunblock. There's plenty of suds. There's plenty of hugs and high fives. There's not plenty of Warrior fans, which is probably a good thing for the uh, Warrior fans who might be coming in today. Quick quick question, sir. How long have you been a Kings fan? Uh, since 85. Okay. So the whole run? Yeah. You, are they going to win game one today? Oh, for sure. We're in it. We're here. Look at all the, look around. I know, it's the whole deal. It's the whole vibe. Okay, we're here down at Doko. I hate to leave. People ask me, do you want to go inside the game? This is more fun out here. <laughs> I love the people and the vibe. Go Kings. Back to you guys. Oh, man, I certainly believe it. It's so fun outside there. And Walt, a great piece, a great blast from the past. The Kings have certainly come such a long way since 85. And even with the new arena, they've expanded seating for this historic weekend. Mm -hmm. And you see why. All those mm -hmm. people lined up even now trying to get inside. Walt, thank you, sir. We'll check back in shortly. We do want to hear from you at home, though. Send us your favorite Kings memories. And we know you have a lot of them since 1985. And also your fan photos. You can text them to ABC10 by scanning the QR code at the bottom of your screen or by texting us at 916-321-3310.